everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Bible Journaling. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of this technique. And this week we're going to continue on with our page using the covered bridge. So the last tutorial, I walked you through this, um, this painting, how to stamp the covered bridge into your Bible. And so this time we're going to go on to the other side. So we're going to kind of continue that idea over into the other side. So we don't need anything from this basic set. We're just going to use a couple of elements from the flowers. So this one, and we're going to kind of mirror what we did on the left hand side. So this one, the filler flower, and then uh, the little branch, this one right here, and the vine. So just those simple stamps. We have a lot going on over here on the left hand side. And so I thought it would be simpler and a little more pleasing to the eye if we don't compete with that and do something simple over here. So, and I also want to show you how to do these simple things. You don't have to do super complex images. You can get your confidence by doing simple little projects and then just kind of work your way into the bigger projects. Okay, so we're going to start out by just stamping this little branch. And I'm going to stamp it in the center. So one, two, maybe just three of them like that. And then another one down here. And then another one up here. Okay, so three separate little branches. And then we're going to now add the vine to that. So before we add any water, we're going to just ink the vine and just the tip. So about half and just put some foliage onto this little branch. And you can make these as large or as small as you like. You can keep them really simple, or you can add more foliage and flowers and uh, make them way bigger, up to you. And feel free to change out the color palette too. I'm using the same green as I did on the other page, so I kinda wanna keep that same theme uh, but you're welcome to change it up and use whatever you like. Okay, so let's go on to the purple and the filler flower. So this one right here, we're just going to ink half of it. And remember to walk it in a circle. And we don't need very many of these either. Just a few. Just make sure you're stamping that in here just multiple times. Kind of in a circular motion but doesn't doesn't really have to be it's just that the the idea is that you're stamping it on top of itself so we want to see that light to dark okay so now let's add water to it so i'm going to dip my brush in water and pinch it off and i'm going to start with the green and just kind of blend this together just dab keep your the uh, side of your hand flat onto your uh, paper your bible or your journal and then just, just kind of dab it this with the side of your brush. Be careful not to get too much water. We want to soften these lines. We don't want to um, erase them. We want to still see that there are leaves on a branch. And then this one down here. Okay, so I've got the brown ones done. Uh, excuse me, the leaves, the, the vine, so the green. And now let's go back and do the purple. Just soften the lines and blend it together. It's okay if that purple gets into the brown and into the green, that's okay. The whole idea is that it looks like a little painting. Okay, I'm gonna add a little of the bright green into this composition. So I'm gonna do that from my palette. I'm just gonna add a little of this here and there. This 
start out light. It's always easier to add more color than if you start with, with it too dark. Okay, so let's add our little flowers in here and I think we are about finished with this page. So I'm gonna ink it in the, that pink, so that dusty rose color, number 757. Just the single bloom. And then I'm going to just use the, the green. And just do it again. And you can do as much of this as you'd like. Let's just do a few more here. Whoops. Pink, not green. And you can see I'm just I'm just inking the the bloom. So I can go back in and add a little stem to that one. Just a really fine, the fine edge of your marker. And that will kind of put those ones way back in the distance. Now we're gonna just go back in here and just hit, hit these with, with your brush. stem here and we are finished with that page so you can see it really uh, goes well with this little covered bridge it's not too overdone and actually just doing these on a page by themselves would be so so cute so feel free to try that try a different color palette or try this border in your Bible it's so fun to do so thank you so much for watching I'll see you again with another project uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again next time